I'm, re I'm really, I'm not sure what kind of birds those are. Wrong shoulder. Yeah, I don't know. If you know, tell me. All right, so um, this is kind of a response to a, uh, a listener request. I feel like a DJ. Uh, a viewer request. Um, a new jet who, who's got shortlisted, just found out where she's going, and asked me some questions about what it's like the first month you're in Japan as an ALT, or as a jet, I guess. Should be applicable to UCIRs as well. Um, well, it actually won't be applicable to UCIRs. I take that back. Um, so I, there's basically three things I want to talk about. I get asked a question a lot, actually, and I think I covered this in another vlog, but you know, like I've got like 300 of them now. <laughs> uh, well, maybe if you take about 100 sumo videos, I still have about 200. Uh, one is money. How much money do I need to bring? It says you have to bring this much. Can I get by on this much? Yada, 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 yada. You guys get really stressed out about this, and I understand. Um, I know what it's like. I was in school working a part-time job, graduating from college, getting my degree um, right up until like a month before I left for Japan in 2004, and I did not have a lot of money. I ended up having to borrow $500 from a family friend, and I paid him back, not on my first paycheck, but my second paycheck, and he was cool with that. Um, and, you know, so I only took over, I want to say about $1,000 if I remember. I mean, it was a long time ago, but I didn't take over a lot. They recommend 1500 to 2000 in American money. Um, and, hey, if you can take that much, that's great. Um, there certainly will be things you might want to buy right at the beginning that you will or won't be able to buy depending on how much you can bring with you. For instance, a car. Um, I didn't get a car for my whole first year. As you guys know, I ended up getting a scooter. Um... So, you know, but things like, you know, the things that you need right away, maybe a cell phone, um, some bits and pieces for your apartment, uh, these kind of things you're going to be able to afford. Don't go crazy in Tokyo. Some people go out and spend like $200 for, you know, in the three days they're in Tokyo going to bars and going out. Um, try not to go too crazy in Tokyo during orientation, and you should be fine. Also, um, and this has happened to a number of jets I've known, at least in Shimane, their BOEs were always willing to lend them money that first month. You know, if you need, say, five mon, which is five, uh, about $500 American, um, to tide you over, most BOEs will be happy to extend you that loan. Because A, I mean, obviously, they know you're good for it, they know where you live, etc. So, and you just pay it back. Um, also, veteran jets, you know, older jets, if you meet a really nice jet at your orientation or something or an older jet in your area or in your building, they probably wouldn't be too tough for them to lend you two or three hundred dollars. Most jets, you know, that kind of cash is not difficult. Um, so don't be shy about asking if you find yourself needing a little bit, but don't worry too much about it. And this kind of segues into another question I get asked, which is what's going to be in my apartment? What's going to, going to be like when I move in? And I know you hate hearing this, but it's so ESID. Um, I, I moved into an apartment that had been lived in by jets for at least 10 years and given to the new jet, the new jet, the new jet. And my predecessor, Sarah, um, sold me a few things in the apartment, um, you know, like a CD player, the Kotatsu she had just bought, um, and a few other small things, I think a drying rack for my clothes. I think I paid her about 100 bucks for some various items. Other things she said, do you want this, do you want this? And I was like, no. But she ended up leaving them in the apartment anyway. And, and a lot of jets will do that because, you know, it's like you either give them away or just leave them. Um, my apartment had like everything when I moved in. It had a TV, a VCR DVD, a rice cooker, a microwave, a fridge, a washer. And as you know, I got the dryer, um, which is very rare. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a bed, linens, futon, um, cupboards, computer desk. I was all outfitted, um, but you know some of that I think you know it, it accumulates. You know jets. You know if if I had left that apartment for Dan who took over for me and he had moved into my apartment, he would have been set up. You know I would have set him up totally, um, but he didn't. My apartment um, went away. They decided not to use it to house jets anymore, and Dan got moved into basically a new apartment. Now some of you will be moved into brand new apartments or an apartment that's new to jets. Um, you know, not brand new as in you're the first person to ever live there. Um, 
And so, yeah, you might have a few less items. A lot of the things in your apartment will belong to the BOE, and they'll slap little stickers on there, like my rice cooker had a little BOE sticker on it. My um, couch, um, no, my table and chairs, I think, belong to the BOE. My, my washer and dryer certainly belong to the BOE. So when I moved out, those kind of things all went into a main storage, and then other jets were given those items if they wanted them. So oftentimes your BOE, especially with less jets being hired, probably have things, and I doubt many of you will go into scantily furnished apartments. So don't worry about needing to buy a lot of stuff right away. You're going to have cups and plates and knives and forks and chopsticks and stuff like that. I, I can't imagine. But, you know... Uh, some jet will respond to this and say, hey, I moved into an empty apartment. I'm sure it, it has happened, but I think it's rare. So don't worry. And there's so many, I mean, the, the dollar store, the Hyakuyen store, I mean, the, the secondhand goods store, it's so easy to get cheap things for your apartment. Now, having said that, there is one thing. You'll get, a, you'll get a paycheck probably on the 15th of the month. A lot of jets get paid in the middle of the month. And that first paycheck might only be for, say, two weeks, because if you come at the end of July, beginning of August, you wouldn't have worked a full month. So that first paycheck you get might be a lot less than what you'll be, you'll, you will be getting, the 300,000 yen, you know, or basically $3,000 before taxes that you'll be getting normally. So it might be, say, the that's going to be your August paycheck. It might be your September paycheck before you start really getting into the rhythm of how much money you're going to have. Okay, lastly... Um, she asked kind of like, what am I going to be doing? What kind of clothes do I need to bring, et cetera, et cetera. When you first arrive, it's going to be like the first week is going to be like introductions, meeting people. There's be no school when you first get. You arrive during the summer break. There's no classes. You might go to your schools, depending on how many you have, and meet some of the teachers that are there that happen to be there during the summer. Um, you might meet the Kyoto Sensei, the vice principal, the Kocho Sensei. Um, which is something that I did, but I didn't, I didn't see, I, they didn't take me to my schools other than just to drive by and point at it for about a week after I got there. Right when I arrived, there was a big kendo competition going on. So right away as a BOE employee, I was put to work. I was moving big pots of flowers in and out of trucks and it's really hot and I was dressed in nice clothes. Um, I remember that day is horrible. Um, you basically have to show up for work though. So you will probably go and sit at your BOE, your Board of Education, or maybe if you're a high school jet at your school, and just sort of like learn Japanese or get the lay of the land. Maybe somebody will take you on a tour. One day my supervisor said, hey, let's get out of here. And he took me to the lighthouse and the local shrine for a little tour, and we had lunch. Um, you won't be doing much. And then you'll have some days off in August because it's called Oban. Um, you get some summer holidays and you can take, and then there'll be like prefectural orientations, things to do. Sometimes if you speak very little Japanese, for instance, you can sign up for a, a crash language course in Japanese and do that for say a week or 10 days. Um, but yeah, it's boring that first month, but you do still have to go to work. You still are employed. Um, if you can try to go to your schools because your kids most likely will be there preparing for sports day, which will be one of the first things that happens to you when classes start. So go, they'll be at school making their costumes, making their big posters, preparing their dances and their cheers. Go, try to talk to them, meet a few of them, introduce yourself, and um, it can be a really fun time. So yeah, you'll, you'll be in kind of in a Japanese work environment at your BOE, and um, so just bring, you know, kind of business casual, nice clothes for that period. Um, what else should I say? Um, yeah, the only drawback I can remember, you know, thinking back real quick is that back in 2004 at least, and especially in my small town, it wasn't, they hadn't banned smoking in the office. So like I got plopped down to a desk and I really don't like smoking. It kind of, I kind of have an allergy to it. And the guy right next to me every day, like, you know, would go through three or four cigarettes right at his desk. So that was quite an eye opener from this boy from California. But luckily, I didn't have to spend too much time there. And then once school started, I was never there. So don't think that that's what it's going to be like. Um, but yeah, that first month is really quirky and weird. And But you'll get some time to travel and see other things. So that can mean money that you want to take. Um, because if you want to travel and take some time off, um, you know, maybe take an extra four or $500 if you can swing it. So you can go on a nice four or five day weekend or something. 
um, use some of your time off right away and enjoy it with your fellow new jets, etc. Because there really isn't much to do with no classes yet, usually until the beginning of September. All right, um, I'm a partner now. Maybe I, I can talk for even more and make these videos even longer, but I'm still going to stick to the under 11 minute mark. So let's wrap this up. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Thanks for rating and commenting. It's great. Some of my videos have been featured. It's awesome. And uh, I have another jet vlog idea, so probably three or four days from now, come back for that. Peace.